In this example we're going to machine the sidewall surface that's currently selected on the screen. As we can see the surface goes from a positive angle in the center to a negative angle on the ends. If we look closely at the internal patch structure of the surface we can see that the internal laterals are not straight. This is a good indication that we cannot use surface swarf machining to get a good quality toolpath. So to get round the problem we're going to use wireframe swarf instead. So to do that we need to extract both the top and bottom curves from the surface. The first thing we need to do is create an empty pattern and select the surface and then go into wireframe modeling so we can sketch uh, the pattern uh, from the surface. To do this we first need to switch off the trimming on the surface. This gives us access to the top lateral of the surface which we can simply then select and convert to wireframe. This gives us the closed profile that we require for wireframe swarf machining. Then we switch back on the trimming and take both the curve and the surface back into power mill and the curve will automatically be created uh, or inserted back into the pattern. So we're going to do the same procedure for the bottom uh, profile so we create an empty pattern, select the surface and go insert wireframe modeling. Again we need to switch off the trimming on the surface to give us access to select the bottom lateral and then again convert that into wireframe, switch the trimming back on and take both surface and curve back into power mill. Once we have both the patterns for the top and the bottom profile, we can then simply open up our wireframe swarf strategy form and fill in the patterns relating to both the top and the bottom wireframe. When we apply the strategy, we must make sure that we have the wireframe side correct. So obviously when we're machining wireframe we can machine either to the left of the wireframe or to the right of the wireframe. This is all dependent on the direction of the points in the curves. If you find that when you apply the toolpath you, cr you get nothing created at all and it's a good indication that you've got the wireframe side uh, the wrong way around. So there we can see in this case we've changed the wireframe side to left uh, and now we have a complete toolpath.